prototype fighter aircraft for the U.S. Air Force Advanced Tactical Fighter Program. The Northrop McDonnell Douglas YF-23 is an American single-seat, twin-engine stealth fighter aircraft technology demonstrator designed for the United States Air Force. Two YF-23 prototypes were built, nicknamed Black Widow 2 and Grey Ghost. In the 1980s, the USAF began looking for a replacement for its fighter aircraft, especially to counter the USSR's advanced Sukhoi Su-27 and McCoy on MiG-29. Northrop teamed with McDonnell Douglas to develop the YF-23, while Lockheed, Boeing and General Dynamics developed the YF-22. The YF-23 was stealthier and faster, but less agile than its competitor. The two YF-23 prototypes were museum exhibits as of 2010. American reconnaissance satellites first spotted the advanced Soviet Su-27 and MiG-29 fighter prototypes in 1978, which caused concern in the US both Soviet models were expected to reduce the maneuverability advantage of contemporary US fighter aircraft. In October 1985, the USAF issued a request for proposal to several aircraft manufacturers. The NATF program called for procurement of 546 aircraft along with the USAF's planned procurement of 750 aircraft. Both teams were given 15 months to build and flight test their prototypes, and they were successful, producing the Lockheed YF-22 and the Northrop YF-23. The YF-23 was designed to meet USAF requirements for survivability, super cruise, stealth, and ease of maintenance. The USAF initially required the aircraft to land and stop within 2,000 feet, which meant the use of thrust reversers on their engines. This allowed the aircraft to have smaller engine nacelle housings. The first YF-23, prototype Air Vehicle 1, was rolled out on the 22nd of June 1990, Par 1 took its 15-minute maiden flight on the 27th of August with Alfred Paul Metz at the controls. The second YF-23 made its first flight on the 26th of October, piloted by Jim Sandberg. The first YF-23 was painted charcoal grey and was nicknamed Black Widow 2, after the Northrop P-61 Black Widow of World War II. It briefly had a red hourglass marking resembling the marking on the underside of the Black Widow spider before Northrop management had it removed. The YF-23 was an unconventional-looking aircraft, with diamond-shaped wings, a profile with substantial area ruling to reduce aerodynamic drag at transonic speeds, and an all-moving weak tail. The cockpit was placed high, near the nose of the aircraft for good visibility for the pilot. The aircraft featured a tricycle landing gear configuration with a nose landing gear leg and two main landing gear legs. Of the two aircraft built, the first YF-23 was fitted with Pratt M, with new YF-119 engines, while the second was powered by General Electric YF-120 engines. The aircraft featured fixed engine nozzles, instead of thrust vectoring nozzles as on the YF-22. As on the B-2, the exhaust from the 23's engines flowed through troughs lined with heat ablating tiles to dissipate heat and shield the engines from infrared homing missile detection from below. Test pilot Paul Metz stated that the YF-23 had superior high angle of attack performance compared to Legacy aircraft. A proposed naval variant of the YF-23 known as the NAT-23 was considered as an F-14 Tomcat replacement. The original YF-23 design was first considered but would have had issues with flight deck space handling, storage, landing and catapult launching reasons requiring a different design. The NAT-23 was different in many ways, the diamond wing was located as far back as possible, it has conventional twin tails instead of the rudder with serrations for low hours and increased maneuverability at low speeds for aircraft carrier operations folding wing capability for flight deck storage, reinforced landing gear, tail hook and canids for landing on aircraft carriers and thrust vectoring nozzles. The first YF-23, with Pratt Amp, Whitney engines, supercruised at Mach 1.43 on 18 September 1990, while the second, with General Electric engines, reached Mach 1.6 on 29 November 1990. 
The YF23 was tested to a top speed of Mach 1.8 with afterburners and achieved a maximum angle of attack of 25 degrees. The aircraft's weapons bay was configured for weapons launch, and used for testing weapons bay acoustics, but no missiles were fired. Lockheed fired AIM-9 Sidewinder and AIM-120 AMRAM missiles successfully from its YF-22 demonstration aircraft. The two 23s flew 50 times for a total of 65.2 hours. The tests demonstrated Northrop's predicted performance values for the YF-23. The YF-23 was stealthier and faster, but the YF-22 was more agile. It has been speculated in the aviation press that the YF-22 was also seen as more adaptable to the Navy's NAT, but by 1992 the US Navy had abandoned NAT. Following the competition, both 23s were transferred to NASA's Trident Flight Research Center at Edwards AFB, California, without their engines. NASA planned to use one of the aircraft to study techniques for the calibration of predicted loads to measured flight results, but this did not take place. Northrop modified aircraft POW-2 to serve as a display model for its proposed interim bomber. After a great deal of study and the building of static models, the Mitsubishi X-2 Shinshin test pad aircraft flew as a technology demonstrator from 2016. One such company that responded was Northrop Grumman and there is speculation that it could offer a modernized version of the YF-23 to Japan. Both YF-23 airframes remained in storage until mid-1996, when the aircraft were transferred to museums. Aircraft of comparable role, configuration, and era.